Yeah, I've cut around the uh, top of the... But before any of that happened... Oh, anyway, stay to the end, you get a, an update on Lisa's vegetable patch. You dancing? <laughs> you dancing? Woo! <sighs> He's off. Good afternoon from a to warm, bright Chironte. I'm happy, my best friend's home. She came home yesterday. Um, big apologies. I couldn't post yesterday's video yesterday, which is the first time that that's ever happened. Uh, I'll tell you why. Yeah, driving up to the airport, in the distance, there was uh, some thick plumes of smoke. Uh, so we got pulled over by the gendarmes. I annoyed them because I tried to turn around, anticipating that I was going to get turned around anyway. He wasn't happy with that. Um, so we had to take a, a different route. Lisa was at the airport for over an hour. Um, then on the way back, um, we got pulled over again. Massive um, roadblock by the police. Um, we told them that we were going to... Uh, where we live and um he sent us through the roadblock he said uh, yeah just take the route to rue mazier and uh we did he sent us right into the middle of the farmer's blockade <laughs> there were burning tires there were angry farmers there were tractors we shouldn't have been there uh so it took us ages to get back and yeah by the time we got back it was too late for me to um start editing plus i spent time with lisa so hope you understand but that video is out now anyway but you'll already know that because you've notified and it would have notified you on your phone or whatever. Anyway, I've got something else to tell you. Yeah, Lisa was on the plane yesterday. She said that there was this uh, Englishman shouting at, the, uh, shouting at the cabin crew, 60, 65 years of age, uh, came across as a bit entitled. Um, this is a flight from uh, Stansted to, uh, to Limoges, by the way. I doubt that you're watching, um, but somebody might know you. Uh, but he came across a bit of an idiot. Anyway. He was shouting for no reason about swapping chairs. I think it's important to know that as an expat, living in a different country, like it or not, you're an ambassador and a representative of the country that you're from. And I think that's really important. You know, so you need, you need to modify your behavior. Um, you need to put that in check because uh, I'm certainly proud of being a, a English, one and a half percent English. I'm certainly proud of my one and a half percent Englishness. Um, but no, it's, um, yeah, just don't be an idiot. <sighs> anyway, run over. <laughs> Looks like we're going to be doing a bit of, uh, bit of plasterboarding today. Do you know what, that excites me because it's, um, there's only so much stud wall that you can take. And there's a lot of stud wall in, involved in that room. So now we're going to see proper, I keep turning the camera away. We're going to see proper, visible, visual, progress and it's going to make it feel more like a room isn't it and uh, somebody will say hello I'll show you oh by the way Lisa says that I say I show you too often um, and she also says that I shouldn't be wearing the gilet because it's too warm plus she doesn't like it anyway it's unique hello hello You good boy. Oh. Good boy. He doesn't like it if I come out into the garden and I ignore him. Uh, so he'll call over. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go check on some eggs. You want to come? You're waiting for, this, for some of that uh, heroin, aren't you? Hang on. <laughs> Half a dozen. Right. I'm going to need, going to need a bigger pocket, as Quint said. Hen cam. <laughs> on, Nicely. Right, you're just picking my fingers. Right, That's the top side, so we have to um
Right, Sean's had to go to leave for the day and go and get some timber. There's a few bits and uh, pieces that we need to do so the passport can go on. Um, which means that the stuff that I've just showed you then um, is all the rubbish that I've amassed over the past few months or so that I've just been piling up. I think I need to go to the Dechetterie, which is the French word for the tip. <coughs> now, fortunately, the one in uh, Champagne Mouton, which is the closest one to mine, is shut. Which I'm pleased about because they they run that place like the Gestapo. So uh, I'm, I'm going to go to another one that I've never been to before. <laughs> right, I don't mind filming in and around my garden with the camera because it's my garden. Do what I want. Um, but I do feel a bit of a div when I take it out. You know, so um, people give you funny looks when they see you with a camera filming. They think of, what's that idiot filming himself picking up timber from uh, Leroy Merlin? I know, I know the saying is from a Game of Thrones, a lion does not concern himself with the opinions of sheep. I know that, I say that to myself all the time. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll see what I can do. Right, it's definitely sunny and it definitely justifies me doing this. I've got different sunglasses today. Match my t-shirt because I'm a tart. Um, I'm going to dedicate this one to my brother. Des Morland. Going to dedicate this one to my brother Des Morland. You'll see him later in the video. Cue slow mo. There's no Gestapo that I can see, so uh, let's start offloading. The Gestapo did turn up, he's actually a really, really nice fella. He spoke English, which, uh, which is just as well, because uh, I don't understand the signs. <laughs> anyway, right, let's head back. Do you want to know how, how Lisa and I met? I'm not bothered. Let's forward. Let's forward to the vegetable patch part. <laughs> Um, right, been together 14 years, uh, married 11. Um, have you ever been accused of oversharing? I have, I don't care. Um, so we met when um, my dress rehearsal wife um, left me for a woman. <laughs> and uh, I had nothing to do, I, I was living in a pokey little flat near the seafront, um, so I joined the gym. Lisa there was a uh, part-time personal trainer, fitness instructor and spin instructor. Um, apparently, she liked me, I liked her. Uh, didn't progress for a year because uh, she looked out the window once watching me walk to my car, saw that I was getting into a previous family car, I thought I was married. So that was it, that was the, that was the end of that for her. Um, it wasn't until uh, a year later, um, my mate uh, came over to see me to make sure I was doing okay. And uh, we ended up having a jacuzzi. You know, Lisa was there. Um, she had to check the uh, pH levels of the, uh, of the jacuzzi. So um, we got chatting. I uh, slid into her DMs, as the, as the youth call it. Sorry, kids. I know you're watching. Um, and that was it. Um, we cracked on. Fast forward to uh, the 10th of October 2010, 10, 10, 10. Um, that's where I uh, proposed to her, uh, in the very same jacuzzi. Um, I'd already gone to her dad um, the day before to ask, for, to ask for, for, for permission, didn't give it. Didn't say, didn't say no, didn't say yes. <laughs> um, anyway, it's a pointless bit of information. But, uh, just killing time. <laughs> I know, yeah, there's, yeah, there is a funny part of that story. It was when I, I'd found out about the uh, about the dress rehearsal wife. I'd, uh, she's not a subscriber, by the way. Um, <laughs> I 
I phoned my dad. I phoned my dad and I told him. And he said to me, what's the matter, son? Can you not keep a woman happy in bed? <laughs> he said, dad, can you put my mum back on? You're not helping. <laughs> anyway, if you've watched this far, I promise you an update on the vegetable patch. <laughs> I'll show you. <laughs> right, to get Lisa on camera, you need to wait for all the nine planets to align. Pausing. Pausing whilst uh, people jump onto the comet, yeah, onto the comet and saying that Pluto's a dwarf planet, so there's only eight. I know that. You can get a few comments now. <laughs> right, but here she is. So what's the update then? Uh, planting and compost. Planting. Oh yes, yeah, so we bought some seeds today. Another stuff. Yes, what have we bought? Um, well, to be planted now, garlic. Yeah, garlic now. And onions? Uh, yeah, they're late. Yeah, we're a bit late for onions. Apparently should be planting them around in October. I'm going to give it a go. It's our first time, isn't it? So, yeah, we'll give it a go. That's the onions and the spring onions uh, planted. Um, huh? Oh, now garlic. I'm not going to show you. I'll show you. <laughs> it's a Tourette's, isn't it? garlic planted. Do you want to see something funny? <laughs> Giving you Nick a hairdo. It's got a bit of a comb over going on. <laughs> These you can see now. You spat it out. <laughs> right, take two. That's better. He likes that. And his new hairdo. Right, it's four o'clock. It's a good one. Get back. Do some medicine, get this out. Having shepherd's pie tonight, random. No, not random shepherd's pie, random me just saying it. Uh, it's weird what goes on in my head. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Loads of new subscribers, uh, loads of new comments, I love comments. Um, just means that you care, I care. Um, yeah, see if you can uh, click on some of these old videos. I'm getting the hang of this. Um, if you like these videos please subscribe hit the like button have a comment don't forget to hit the not notification bell that's really really important and uh, leaves one last thing left to say it's not from me it's from my brother laters <laughs>